King Kang. Alright, what's going on, y'all? Uh, today I'm playing Octopath Traveler 2. And I'm gonna keep it real with you. My bad if my mic's not in the, in the best spot. But uh, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm probably gonna start making Octopath Traveler content. You know, I never really wanted to do one particular game over another just because I like, you know, all games like that. But man, this game is so good. I was just talking to somebody about it, but that's a story for another day. I, I, I will make content about this, most likely. I'm, I'm going to keep it open-ended. Most likely I will, but if I don't, then um, just know this game is fire. You should definitely check it out. But uh, I want to talk today about dealing with difficult, <laughs> difficult, not, I mean, difficult and tough, but, but, but difficult times. Uh, or difficult times. Let's just combine it, cause, cause we all have them, all right. But um, you know, I never, we never really talk about like some lighthearted stuff that people go through that that no one really talks about or discusses because it's quote unquote not that big a deal. But um, you know, I, I was watching, can't really remember. Uh, who I was talking to about some of these old pictures that I was seeing come up on my timeline. Uh, so, uh, you know, how IG would be like, oh, this happened a few years ago, blah, blah, blah. So I was watching these compilations and I saw my niece, like, who's 13 now. I'm like, man, like, bro, how? <laughs> I remember going to prom and she was just being born. All right, so now it just occurred, you know, it occurs to me how, how old you get so quickly right like you notice it when your nieces and your nephews or if you have kids when your kids get older you're like dang time is time is moving which is you know time comes for all of us so you know it's natural it happens but you know how many times did you grow up or 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 how many times did you experience something that was so difficult that you thought to yourself like man i don't, I don't really see myself getting over this getting over the hump um, probably quite a few times and I'm gonna be real with you a lot of people do that let's start with something light. like I remember in high school kind of <laughs> in high school I thought so many problems were were problems just to grow up to realize like you can overcome so many things in high school or so many things that you think is is uh, difficult because the next problem that you're gonna face is, is gonna be nothing compared to that. But, you know, let's say you were in high school, right? Uh, if you were like me, you, you and, and if you were like me, you were confident in who you are, kinda, but not really, then you probably had trouble talking to girls. Probably. Uh, one thing I wish I didn't do, and I and I thought that was a hard time. I thought that was a tough time. That's crazy, right? Like, oh man, talking, talking to girls is so complicated. And then it's like the least amount of your worries. It, even as a married man, I can go ahead and tell you, like, you're not going to figure out women anytime soon, or you know, the best things to say all the time. Like, it's, it's not going to happen. Um, so you look at a problem like that, and you think, oh my God, this is so tough. Look at look at this person or look at that person they're not having trouble whatever whatever thoughts go through your head when you you know play around with something silly like that um you know it happens but but if you are like me and you experience something that i experienced you know i was told that that it was weird you know it was weird for me not to have girls um I don't even know how to put this, but not to have like girls on your roster or not to have like, um, you know, not to have, I don't know, game, I guess. Let's call it, let's, let's just, let's just be simple. Not to have a game. You know, I thought it was, I thought I was the weird one. So for me, it was difficult. So I started to change and shape rhetoric and how I spoke and certain things just to try to attract quote unquote, those those women that I needed women high school girls it's crazy because it's like who cares man like <laughs> once that's over with you're not gonna talk to any of those people most likely but when you're going through a tough time you think that 
this is it. This is the most difficult problem that there ever will be, and I'll never get through it, blah, blah, blah. Cap, 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 man. Let's get it. Those problems are are absolutely nothing to worry about and absolutely nothing to stress about. Now, there are some other problems where you can't really have that mentality. Like, oh, it's going to get better. Like, things will, you know, things are easier. Um, yeah, I grew up, I grew up without a father. You know, when I was two, I guess, I don't, I don't, you know, I wasn't there. I don't know. But when I was two or so, uh, you know, my parents came to the agreement that it's time for them to go their separate ways. My mom moved down to Atlanta, um, but my pop stayed up in Philadelphia. So I, I grew up probably 12, 13 years of my life always wondering why, 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 why wouldn't he want to come to Atlanta? Why wouldn't he want to come? Blah, blah, blah. And then a lot of my focus in my day without even paying attention or knowing all became about him. You know, like just wanted him to be around, wanted him to do this, wanted him to do that. When, when, you know, I wasn't even really paying attention to what was happening around me in my day to day. The reason I bring that up is because that's a lifelong, that's, that's completely different than, you know, trying to talk to girls, right? Like that's a lifelong situation that you're going to have to deal with in terms of trauma until you get over the hump. You know, when stuff like that happened, I would always wonder how could someone, or, or when someone does something and I couldn't, I could, I wouldn't do it, and I, I wouldn't agree with it. I always wonder, wonder. Excuse me, I would always wonder, like, how on earth, or why on earth would they do this? You know, how how could they do this? And it's some advice that my mom gave me that was extremely helpful for me to to keep in mind. To, to, to keep pushing and not let, you know, not be so discouraged about um, my father not being in my life. When I would go to school and I would have problems with people, which happened all the time. If you if you haven't seen the school of Afrotech, definitely go check that out. Uh, especially if you can relate to some of these things I'm already saying. And trust me, the school of Afrotech, you'll enjoy um, it goes a little bit deeper about what I went through growing up. Um, but, you know, I would come home and I'd be like, yo, mom, this person did that or that person did this. And, 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 you know, I would tell her those things or bring up what other people did whenever I was about to get in trouble. You know, I don't know if anyone else ever did that. Like you at school and you doing something. And you know you getting you getting rolled up or you getting isolation or you know whatever the punishment is at your school, and your mom's super mad like why would you do this blah blah blah. I'm like yo mom like they was doing it. <laughs> That's something that always got me in trouble in my house like they was doing it. And my mom would go yo if they you know let, let's let's I could probably think of a better example. But let's stay with the cliche. If they jumped off a building, would you do it? Keeping that cliche in mind, that's how majority of the conversations I had with my mother were like whenever I would do something because other people were doing it. Was, you know, if they would do the worst decision, would you do it? My mom would always tell me, she would always end the conversation with, I don't care what they do. I don't care what is going on with them. I just don't want you to do those things. Let them do what they want, right? And she would pound us in my head, pound us in my head. Like, it doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they do. For so long that eventually it came to the realization where it's like, you know, it, it if it doesn't matter what it does when someone um, does something wrong, right, then the same thing happens when someone does something good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Just because they're doing something good and I'm around them, that still doesn't mean, or, or you know, I shouldn't take that as, you know, I was at least hanging out with the right people who was doing good. You know, it's, it's about you doing good. And if you don't like the way someone acts, you should look in the mirror and be like, yo, I don't like the way I acted. 
or at least that that was the mentality I got. Like that was that was how I started to to move away from being so upset, dang, being so upset from my with my father. You know, I eventually came to the realization that um, forgiveness is not a forgiveness is not a two-way street. It really isn't. Forgiveness actually is the most one-way street of all streets, and it's not for the other person. Or it's not for the person being forgiven. It's for the person doing the forgiving. Check this out. Look, who would it hurt? You know, it, would it hurt my dad at all if if I stayed mad at him for the rest of my life? Probably not, right? Like, like most likely not. Would it hurt me if I stayed mad at him for the rest of my life? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. It would hurt me one because when you're when you I heard this quote one time. Um, holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. When you are, you know, so mad at somebody that every single thing that they do upsets you, or even hearing their name upsets you, keeps your gets your blood boiling. They didn't. They didn't have to do. They're not doing anything but existing. You're the one upset all day. <laughs> you know, they did something to you a long time ago, and now they moved on. And now, 10, 15 years later, you still pissed off. You ever had something happen to you? Something minor too, like somebody ate, uh, I don't know, sneezed around your Snickers bar or something. You'd be mad about that all day. Like, man, bro, I can't believe this man had the audacity to, to sneeze, bro. <laughs> like, I wish, man, if I could go back in my head, I'd cover my Snickers bar or whatever the case is. You know, or or let's say you about to argue with your 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 lady or your 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 guy. And you're already planning out your argument in your head, like all day, you're just like, all right, he gonna say this or she gonna say this, and I'm a counter with this. She not gonna expect that, right? That that was, you know, that was essentially what I was doing by thinking about my my pops all day, wondering why, why, why. I'm just giving so much energy and so much energy to a situation that can't be changed. <laughs> Notice that I could it's not, you know, that the situation wasn't right or wrong. Um, well, well, you know what I mean? It wasn't it's not like the situation changed, but my mentality did because I realized like, oh, I can't do nothing about this situation. Like it happened, you know, it is what it is. But my mentality can change easily. I can I cannot I cannot give any more energy to something that's only stressing me out. When, when, you know, when you have that type of mentality where it's like, all right, whatever happened in the past happened, uh, moving forward is really nothing that could, nothing that could stop you. If I'm, if, you know, if I'm being honest with you, um, and I'm just telling you from experience. I'm telling you from someone that. Well, Went home every day, cried. I was like, oh, man, we're pops, we're pops, we're pops. Oh, why me? Oh, we're pops. Look at this person, that person got to die, this person got to die. Okay. Okay. And now I started looking at it like, okay, I don't have a pops, but my relationship with my mom is, like, really good. Like, great, fantastic. Not every single... Not every single child of a single parent has that relationship. Sometimes, you know, you don't have your pops, but your relationship with your mom is terrible. And then you wonder, like, man, where is he? Because I can see why he left. Like, like I, I go with him if I could choose. Like, some people have that mentality. And, and some people uh, relate to that. Um, hmm. Interesting. Some people, and some people relate to that. Some people have that type of relationship with their parents that they don't, they're not happy about it, right? Like they wish they could change their situation and not know their parents. When I, when I think of it like that, you know, and keep that in mind, then it's, and it's a lot different for me, right? Like I'm actually blessed to be in a house, even though I don't have both parents, I have a parent that, 
I don't have to wonder or think to myself like, man, why, why not? Why, why didn't my dad take me? Cause I want to go too. But more like, all right, my pops ain't want to be here. Well, it's cool because I'm in a great situation compared to to some other people, all right? Because you can you can compare yourself to somebody and like get depressed and be like, man, I wish my life was like that. Blah blah blah. Or you can compare yourself, you know, compare yourself to some other people and go like, hey man, thank God it's not like that. Like, thank God it's not as bad as that. But that's why it's dangerous to compare. Because you really don't know. You don't know what's happening behind someone, behind closed doors. Uh, you don't know what's happening in someone's life. So it's really better to just keep this new mentality that I found, which was just focus on the day and what you can control. Because, like, really, really can't nothing stop you. When it's your life, it's much harder and much more difficult to, to have that type of mentality. Um, because it's like, you know, it's my life. Like, I, I hear these words, and I know that that there is better, but, you know, it's like, it's kind of difficult to, 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 to see it. But when you, when you go through so many things, like, eventually, you just kind of train yourself, or at least as you go through things, train yourself and knowing that, oh, I just overcame something else. Oh, I just overcame something else. Oh, there's another thing I just overcame. Eventually, you'll start seeing, like, dang, it ain't really nothing. You know, I was stressed out about this or stressed out about that. It ain't really nothing that's even remotely close to to stopping me. <laughs> like, every, every year I keep thinking or every time I go through something, I'm just thinking, like, oh, this is it. This is the worst. There's nothing worse than this. And up. Uh, I just survived another one. <laughs> oh, oh, that didn't kill me, surprisingly. You know, you'll start to see and you'll start to track that that it's not one single day that you have been on this planet, no matter how bad it was. Especially if you're able to listen to what it is I'm saying right now. It's not one day that you have been on this planet, no matter how bad the situation looked. There is not one day that you have not defeated Think about that. Not one. Even the worst of days. Yep, even that day. Yeah, give me another day. Oh, yep, that day too. Give me another one. Every single one. There's not one day that you have not defeated. That means you defeated 100% of your bad days. Check that one off the list. Check that one off the list. Check that one off the list. When I, when I think of dealing with tough times, I just... I can't really think of one that really beat me so bad that I, I didn't wake up the next day. Even if I lost, even if I stumbled, even if it was not a great week, at the end of that week, I get to see the next one. So it clearly it wasn't that tough. It wasn't that difficult. Because I survived it. You survived it. Every single per The person we think is weak survived it. The person we don't want to be like survived it. If they can do it, you can definitely do it. You know, I ain't trying to take nothing away from them or knock them or nothing like that. But come on now, if, if they can do it, like, <laughs> let's be real. And then your idols did it. You know, anyone that you look up to did it. You have the ability to, to, to survive some really, really difficult things. And... And you and you have like like it's not just I'm not just you know turning on the camera just to puff up anyone that listen I just I'm just keeping it a buck and 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 keep I'm just keeping it real and if I'm keeping it real the person who's listening to this has survived every single tough day that they've ever experienced in their life in their entire life not just recently like ever ever. <laughs> That, I know that's wild, right? Like, when you really put it in perspective like that, it's like, dang, I, I have been through some stuff. I have, I have, I have survived some stuff. And you're just going to continue to keep doing that, and you're going to continue to keep doing that, and you're going to continue to keep doing that. Like Mr. Kraft said, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. That's how it is.
Yo, I hope y'all like seeing a snippet of Octopath Traveler. I am about to get back to Pitch Play Co. We should be releasing real soon. Um, my business, if you haven't heard about it, please go check it out. But um, I, I'm most likely going to be doing more Octopath content. It's just, uh, I love this game. It's super fun. And I could I have so many stories to tell about it. Dealing with tough times, you've dealt with every single one of them, and you will continue to deal with some more, I guarantee it. But guess what, though? Until the end, you're going to beat every single difficult day that you face. Every single one.